starting our day off after breakfast and coffee of course um, doing a free walking tour of Quebec City the old town of Quebec City we like to experience a new city by trying these free walking tours um, we've done them in the past and we found that um, they're very detailed and they're, it's nice to have a local tell us about the city that they're from and the city that they love. And you can't beat the price. Uh, they basically work on a tipping system and you can find them in most uh, popular tourist locations. What I point you right there with the wall, let's say it's a totally a French wall. Let's say it's also a British wall. Because once the British won the wall, they made it a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger to complete the defense of the French. I did a big, big restoration on it because they dirty used to have a big enemy in the south. What was the enemy of the British here after the French? Do you know the enemy of the British? The Americans! The 13th colony. informative uh, and a good sense of humor, uh, a lot of good stories about the area, um, and he had a lot of personality to add to it. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, doing that. We'll put his information in a link down in the description below, uh, so definitely check that out. Um, but after the tour, we were pretty hungry, um, so we stopped at this restaurant called Le Pin Sauté. Uh, basically means sautéed rabbit, um, which is their specialty here. Uh, and we got kind of a platter of kind of their most well-known dishes. Uh, so it has some salami, some duck breast, uh, some rabbit rubeis, uh, a maple salmon, um, and a few other little goodies like some cheese. And uh, it looks really good, uh, all locally grown, uh, produced food. Uh, we just got done with lunch. Uh, it was really good. I uh, really enjoyed all the food. Um, one thing we've noticed is that they, here in Quebec, they seem really proud of their food and their produce. Uh, every menu we've seen has said uh, that all the produce is locally sourced, um, and everyone seems to really have a lot of pride in that. Um, and it really shows in the quality of the food. Um, it was quite amazing. Alright, so this is already starting to melt, but basically um, I think this is a traditional kind of winter treat around here where they pour maple syrup directly on some snow on a stick uh, and it forms a taffy, uh, but now in kind of the more touristy areas you can get it year round uh, where they just use kind of a bed of ice and uh, yeah, you get this awesome maple taffy. Um, ooh. <laughs> uh, ooh. Wow. Mm. It's really good. It's very sweet. I mean, it's pure maple syrup. So I should have been expecting sweet. But holy cow, I love maple. Honey. Then like why well, I can go like maple syrup. Well they have like Vermont maple is different than Canadian maple. I don't know. But it tastes more like honey than like maple. I think. It's so messy. So we got a chance to recharge at the hotel a bit, uh, and we just finished up dinner. We decided to go healthy tonight. Uh, healthy, yes. Uh, we've been eating pretty hearty food and while the we've done a lot of walking and a lot of steep hills uh, it's catching up with it's us it's catching up with <laughs> us so we we went with the, some salads today for dinner uh, nothing too excited so we didn't really bring you guys along 
Uh, but now we are going to uh, to get drinks. Drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now we're going out to get uh, kind of nighttime drinks before we our last night here in yes. Quebec City. Yeah. So let's go. So for drinks, we decided to come to the uh, most iconic building in Quebec City. It is the uh, Fortinac, Chateau de Fortinac. Um, it was actually built, it looks like a castle, uh, but it was actually originally built as a hotel. Um, the railroad company in Canada, uh, when they were building the first railroad across the country, they wanted to have a, a great place for uh, the patrons of the railroad to stay as they were crossing the country. Um, so they built this beautiful hotel, um, and it's still actually a functioning hotel today. Uh, and we are going to uh, go see inside. It's actually a little bit of a piece of trivia. It's the considered the most photographed hotel in the world, uh, and you can pretty much see why. something you can only really get in Canada. Um, it's really good, real strong maple flavor. Um, like I think I've mentioned before, I love maple. That's gonna kind of be a general theme of these. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, we both had um, some pretty good drinks and I think we're gonna call it a night. Um, we've been really busy these past couple of days. I think tomorrow we uh, may sleep in a little bit. Um, so, good night!